Hey everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the Create Your Life series. I'm here in my hometown, West New York, New Jersey, and I have a full day of events. So, I'm gonna take you through different places in this video. Um, every single time I have the, a step to a video, it's gonna be in like in a different location. So right now we're at the Airbnb where we're staying at, and it's pretty awesome. Um, and I have family here that we visited, but we've also just been doing a lot of things and just coming back. I feel like I, I, I'm always coming back home and it's an unexplainable feeling. All my great memories, my childhood memories are here and I just love coming. So this episode is going to be about how to create a plan and a vision for your life. So now that you've uh, figured out or are just trying to discover your passion now that you've taken the steps of kind of being more self-aware of who you are and everything around you now it's time to actually start planning how you want your life to look like and eventually then start taking steps towards that before starting to plan you have to clarify what you want that's the first step clarify what you want and the advice that I always give is don't focus on what other people are doing or what they're telling you don't focus on what degrees are out there what options are out there and don't see it as a list that you have to choose from like don't make it seem as if the life choices and decisions that you have to make are like on this list that you have to choose from think about it from a different perspective start where your passion lies in so what is natural to you? What is something that you don't have to force? What is something that you just naturally love doing? Something that you naturally care about and something that naturally you just do. So what is your passion and what is something that is natural to you? What is the thing that matches your personality? So don't choose a degree or don't choose a path in life it doesn't have to be degrees but it's just an example for people who are in college whatever decision you're going to make don't make it based off on what it is like what the title is try to kind of ask yourself first does this go with my personality with who I am first stay true to yourself and know your strengths and know your weaknesses and then you kind of have to match that with whatever you're gonna to decide to do in life and the only thing that's really gonna last and make you happy and is going to it's, it's gonna be what you want to do for the rest of your life is whatever comes naturally to you not the things that you have to force um, to love not the things that you have to that you feel like you have to force yourself to like the things that come naturally to you it may be something that's not on the list okay so your passion and whatever it is that you love doing may not be on that list but then that's where you have to decide, okay, so maybe this is kind of the life that I have to, that I'm choosing now to live. I have to create something out of nothing. And that's also okay too. So start from where your passion is. What is something that comes naturally to you? And like I've said before, we're gonna learn this through life experiences. So you have to put yourself out there so that you can actually figure that out. Figure out what comes naturally to you bus and once you figure it out then you can start planning but the first step in creating a plan and a vision for yourself is to clarify what you want not only what your talent is but what you actually like doing you know sometimes whatever we love doing we may not be as good at it we want we, not, we may not be good at it at first and that's with everything in life so it doesn't mean that you have to be great at it from the beginning it just means that you love doing it and you have a passion for something and then you will develop from there mm -hmm. but clarify what you want before you make a vision board before you start planning. and that's what I'm and that's what I'm gonna be talking about later in the video so stay tuned okay so number two it's kind of loud I'm in New York City so hopefully you guys can hear me Number two is to prioritize and put everything in chronological order. So whatever steps you have to take, make sure that they're the steps that you need to take first in order to advance in any way. So figure out what is it that you have to do to get to your goal 
it could be your end goal or it could be your mini goals that you want to achieve which ones are the ones that you want to accomplish first and then after that after that once you realize the goal that you want to accomplish first then you can start putting everything in chronological order so for example your career may be this or it may be that but there's things that you have to accomplish in order to get to that career or to get to anything at any point that you want in life and you're gonna be taking steps to get closer and closer but which ones are the smartest to take first look at how you are right now look at your rea reality right now and see what you're able to do and then go from there but prioritize and then plan out that way sometimes it's not gonna go the way that you want it to and it, but it'll all just end up falling together in the end so start with what is most important and what you're able to do right now to advance in any way the way you'll know what steps to take is by doing research so you have to do your research and once you find out what your passion is and what comes natural naturally to you that's when you have to do your research and learn everything about what it is and like I said if it's something that you have to create from zero learn about how you can do that and do your research because somebody's already done it and all you got to do is learn from them and do it 10 times better and your way so do your research and figure out the steps that you need to take in order to get to where you want to be and then prioritize what are you able to do right now to advance in any way and it may not be what you want to do um, but there's things that you got to do in order to get there and if it really is what you want to do and what you love doing and what comes naturally to you doing research will, won't be boring it won't be a hassle you'll actually you'll actually enjoy doing research and learning about it and studying about it and something that so we may do is that we take in way too information and we take in way too much information and we don't take action so every single time you learn something take action and implement it now the next one you'll see how it comes together with this one hey guys I'm in Central Park the lighting goes in and out here so hopefully you guys can see me um, so number three of this video on how to create your life how to create your a plan and a vision for your life number three is to create a vision a vision is so powerful you guys it is so powerful because you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to visualize what you want every single day if you know exactly what you want so I highly suggest doing a vision board and getting pictures that represent what you want in life try to be specific as you can with them what I did was I printed some pictures out and I put them on my vision board and I did a vision board for 2018 and I'll do one for each year and not that I'm gonna complete or create that vision in within the year but it's just to see where my mind is going because your vision can change but it's about having it there to look at whenever you feel down because the process of life I don't even want to say the process of success because it, there's not a final destination it's just life and there's a lot of ups and downs there's a lot of times where you're gonna feel like am I gonna make it or am I going to be able to accomplish the things that I set for myself and there's gonna be times where you feel like you can't do it all or if it's really gonna work Am I doing this for no reason? And that vision is gonna help you always just come back to check yourself. And you're gonna be able to just get back on track because you know what you want, you're visualizing it. And it doesn't mean that because you're visualizing it, it's gonna happen and it's gonna come true, but it will help you with motivation. And when you know exactly what you want, even how you picture it and how it looks, it's gonna help you make those moves in life towards that direction exactly so again your vision can change but it's good to have one and know exactly what you want a vision board isn't a plan it's not a detailed plan uh, but it's something that's gonna help you the fourth thing I'm just gonna say it here because I want to say it already um, and I don't know where I'll be next right now I'm in Central Park the fourth thing is to focus on one thing at a time remember when I said about those steps 
that you have to take, fi finding out the steps that you have to take in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish, well, one at a time. Do not try to do so many things at the same time because it's not gonna work. So just focus on one thing. I've tried a lot of times to just get things done and, and, and try to focus on so many things. But again, when you're going through this journey, you're learning, you're constantly consuming information and you need to give yourself time to apply it. So once you learn something, focus on that one thing and then move on. But try to become an expert in your field, whatever you're going for, whatever you're doing in life, try to become an expert at it. So the only way to do that is to focus on one thing at a time. So I suggest focusing on one thing at a time and obviously there's probably a lot of tasks under that that you're gonna have to do, but just one thing at a time is best. I'm not gonna tell you to write anything down. I'm not gonna tell you and give you a specific format on how to write your plan and plan your life out because everyone has a different way of doing this. But it just, it's simple. You don't have to complicate it that much. Just do your research, write it, write anything that you want, you know, do it your own way when it comes to like organization and the technical stuff. But the steps that I'm giving you or the four things that I'm telling you about on how to create your life, it's gonna help you. And if you do it in this way, with these tips, you're gonna be able to plan your life efficiently so that you're actually making things happen for yourself. So what I do is when I'm on my way to work and I'm like, I don't wanna work, I don't wanna work, I look at my vision board, I actually put it right outside of my door. I look at it and I, it just reminds my, I just remind myself, you know what, this is what I'm doing it for. And when you have a vision for your life, you realize that the small things that you have to deal with daily are not worth getting mad over, getting frustrated over because your vision is greater than all that. Have a vision, believe in it, and make it happen. But if there's anything that I want you to take from this video, if you don't take anything from it, you need to take this thing. Know what you want and clarify what you want. And you'll know when you find your passion because you'll feel unstoppable and you will feel powerful. Even when people don't understand you even when you know things are not going the way that you want them to you're gonna find it that it's gonna be very easy to just keep going because you know what you want and you don't see yourself doing anything else but that with your life so you're gonna be able to make it happen once you are able to clarify what you want a lot of people go around and around in circles and waste their time in life because they don't know what they want most of the time it's because they think that they can't create something um, from nothing maybe it's something and maybe it's just that they're scared of doing something different and don't be just go for it go for anything that you want in life something that a lot of people don't realize is that your passion just because you love it and just because you have a passion it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy and that it's gonna be fun all the time because that's just life and that's that's just how it is and you're gonna have to work hard and you're gonna have some really bad days and bad nights and you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have good nights so just because it's your passion doesn't mean that it's gonna be a very easy path for you um, but you just have to be ready for it and if it's really worth it then you'll be able to do that I hope this video was a good one and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope it helped you in any way let me know down below how do you create your life and how do you plan for things in your life and in your future and let me know if you're gonna apply any of these tips. Stay tuned for more videos on this series. I have a great one coming up after this because it's, again, it's a long process and it's a long journey. There's five more videos in this series, so stay tuned and don't miss any because it all comes together and you need all of these videos, trust me, so stay tuned.